Yo guys, I'm back. It's been a while as always. Today we're doing a 48 hour challenge, but on TikTok, instead of like Facebook, which I normally use, just to change it up a little bit. Hopefully you guys learn a bit about TikTok. And a lot of you have been DMing me on Instagram or whatever, telling me your Facebook account got banned yeah. and stuff. So if that happens, you can always switch to TikTok. So hopefully this video will help some of you guys out. And we're also gonna be switching it up a little bit with the softwares and stuff that I'm gonna be using. So it's gonna be a bit different than the usual videos I do. And yeah, if you guys have any questions, always feel free to message me on Instagram. My Instagram is gonna be on the screen and without further ado let's go straight into the video all right so the first thing you got to do when you want to launch some tiktok ads is set up a tiktok account there's already a bunch of tutorials out there they're going to explain how to do that so i'm not going to waste time trying to explain that but the next thing you got to do is you got to decide like which product you want to go for so we got to find the product somehow and in this video we're going to be using wikispy wikispy is a great product research tool that lets you filter out ads and stuff so you can pretty much find any ad out there that's running we're going to be using some filters so let's go straight into it all right so here are the filters we can use so we can filter it by post creation date, languages, platforms, countries, placement, media type, gender, whatever. But this one's really interesting. So we're going to be able to use it for TikTok ads soon. Unfortunately, it's not available at the moment. It would be really good if it was available for now, but I might just make another video when it comes out. So I want to filter it out by likes. Um, let's do like 500 plus comments. Doesn't really matter. Let's filter it by date, languages. Let's do English platforms. We definitely want to do Shopify and then countries. Let's leave it abroad because we're doing English and let's see what kind of products we can find since we are doing like tiktok products we're gonna be looking for something that's a bit on the cheaper side or something that would like be a good tiktok product okay so i ran into this christmas tree um pretty interesting product definitely do see like parents buying this for their kids and if they have more than one kid they're definitely gonna be buying more than one so i'll look into this one the baby blanket i think i showed this in my previous video it could be a good tiktok product i'll definitely keep that in mind but let's see if we can find anything better a few minutes later here's another interesting product it's like the shoe washing machine or you can also use it for clothes as well i think that this one's a bit more expensive though but i'll look into that as well all right so the christmas tree is like 29.99 plus they're charging for shipping and it makes sense for people to buy more than one so the christmas tree is like 7.99 on aliexpress with around a month shipping maybe like a little bit more than a month and then our competitors are selling it for 29.99 plus shipping we have a pretty good margin here and the product looks interesting we're already in q4 so it makes sense like time wise because christmas is coming up so i feel like this would be a pretty good product to test all right so i think we already found the product so the next step is to build a store order the ads and stuff like that all right so now that we have the product we're gonna have to build a store we're gonna have to order the ads so instead of me building the store myself i'm just gonna be ordering from star stores i'm gonna have to do that off screen because i don't want you guys seeing my number and then for the ads we're gonna be using top notch ads so we're just gonna be going with the tiktok ad package if you guys want to use the same services i'm using i'll leave all the links in the description so i'm just gonna click add the cart on the tiktok ad proceed to checkout all right so i placed the order for the ads i'm just gonna fill out all the info off camera because there's nothing really interesting there and i'll see you guys in a few days once we have everything and then we're going to be setting up the ads and yeah see you guys soon two days later hey guys i'm back it's been a few days since where we left off and in the meantime we got the ads delivered we got the store done and everything's ready so we're kind of ready for launch first of all i want to show you guys around the store so this is what the store looks like um the home page is really good i really like what they did here it's a one product store and it looks really good um i like the color scheme everything looks really good way better than i would do it and then here's how the product page looks so nothing crazy but but yeah, we're just testing a product on TikTok. We don't really need an insane product page for now. And then if it starts working, we can improve the product page later on. But yeah, so that's how the site looks. If you guys want to get a site, I'll leave a link for Star Stores. And when it comes to the apps, we have B Profit. It's the best like profit calculation app in Shopify. And basically what B Profit does is it tracks all your expenses, all your revenue, everything like that. And it gives you perfectly accurate analytics of everything that's going on in your store. So instead of using like a spreadsheet or like manually tracking everything yourself, you can just install this app. It's free up to like 30 30 orders a month and then it's like $30 a month but it's worth every penny because it saves you so much time and it can track the total sales cost of goods ad spend uh, you can also input like other expenses you want taxes refunds transaction fees shipping and handling literally any expense that comes in you can track it in here and then it's going to give you analytics just like this because we haven't still advertised the store there's nothing really here but it's a really really well designed analytics space so i'll leave a link for this app in the description as well definitely recommend you guys get it and i've linked my tiktok account so i don't have to like manually input the uh, ad spend it just automatically pulls it from the ad account so that's really interesting so that's where we're going to be taking a look at the profit and here's how the ad from top notch ads looks it's pretty simple but i think it really shows the product well and i really like this product because it's in the kids niche and we're entering holiday season so i feel like older people are going to be buying this as gifts for their grandchildren or maybe even their children so that's kind of the demographic we're going after a bit older people so let's go straight into the tiktok business manager and let's create a campaign all right so the first thing we got to do is choose the advertising objective uh, you always want to go for conversions from my experience uh, let's talk 
start over, click on conversions. When it comes to the campaign name, let's just do my first Christmas tree. We're gonna leave both of these unchecked and we're gonna do no limit, click on continue. So the first ad group is gonna be no interests, broad, US slash Canada. We gotta choose a pixel, I'm gonna blur it out just in case. And then the optimization event, we gonna go for complete payment. For the placements, we're gonna do just TikTok. It doesn't really matter that much whether you do automatic or just TikTok, but I prefer sticking to only TikTok. We're gonna remove the comments and downloads just because we don't want anyone commenting anything negative and we definitely don't want anyone downloading our ads when it comes to the targeting we're gonna leave everything absolutely broad so we're not gonna be targeting anything and we're just gonna let tiktok do all the optimization location we definitely want to do united states and canada so let's just click on the united states and let's click on canada here we're leaving everything the same like we're not touching anything and for the budget we're gonna do 20 dollars a day we're gonna let the ads run all day and we're gonna be going for lowest cost and let's click on next now here we're gonna call the ad ad one and we're gonna be going for a custom identity so the display name is gonna be my first Christmas tree and now we're gonna be uploading the ads from top-notch ads and then just click on upload again and now we wait all right once it's uploaded we're just gonna click on confirm and here we are so for the ad copy I just put in the best Christmas gift you want to keep it simple because you can't really do too much text and you don't want to risk getting banned because of it so we're just gonna keep it simple uh, call to action we want to do shop now so the call to action is shop now and then I'm just gonna copy the URL from the store all right so our campaign is active the ad has to go through the review though so let's go over to the ad group level and let's just duplicate this or I guess copy this ad set. Let's look on duplicate. And I'm not really looking to change it up a lot. I'm just gonna change up the age ranges a little bit. So instead of going no limit, I'm just gonna go like 18 plus. And I'm just gonna make sure everything else is the same and just click on next. And then I'm just gonna click on submit. On this one, I'm just gonna do like 25 and up. So the next ad set, I'm just gonna do female only because I don't know, I feel like this is something that it, like an aunt or aunt, whatever it's called, would buy. So on this one, we're doing females 25 plus actually. And let's click on next and submit. Admit. I just feel like a female is more likely to buy it, but we don't want to discriminate. We're also going to do a male only one. And then the last ad set, we're just going to do 35 plus both genders, just because I kind of want to test if the older demographic is going to convert better. So let's click on next and let's submit this. And that's it. So click on OK. And we've launched five ad sets at $20 a day, which means I'm going to be spending $100 a day on ads. So we're going to need around five or six sales to be profitable. We'll see if that's doable with this product. I really like the product, but we're going to have to see how the test goes. You never know how a product is going to perform until you test it. So let's hope the ad passes the review and then we'll see how it performs from there. And that's going to be it for me for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow most likely. So CNN. Tomorrow. Wrong. Tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. It's day one. So the ads ran for 24 hours. Now it's day two, but I'm going to be showing you guys the results for day one. And let's go straight into my computer and let me show you guys what happened. So on the first day, we had $75 in sales. We had three orders and the ad spend was $100. So nothing special to see here. And here are the ads. So it's only tracked one per purchase and it came from a 25 plus female interest and all the other ones didn't get any sales that we can see uh, the CPC is okay not the best but it's doable and that's pretty much it nothing special to see in the ads all right guys so here on B profit and as you guys can see on November the 2nd which is yesterday we made a negative $51 in net profit which is okay for day one it's not too bad we did get like three sales day one so that's a decent sign for the product and as you guys can see here the ad spend was $100 the total sales were 75 and the net profit was minus 51.9 so here are the other metrics as well so we got cost of goods tracked we got the total sales ad spend everything like that so i didn't really change anything with the ads for day two because i didn't really have much data and we're only like one day in so i'm just gonna let them run for today as well and then i'm gonna show you guys what happens and that's gonna be it tomorrow hey guys so the second day of ads is done which means the 48 hours has passed so the challenge is completed and let's see if it was a success okay so when we go into the ads we've had a total of four sales tracked and the cpc has went down to 51 cents which is a good sign and as you guys can see three sales came from the 25 plus female demographics so it might be a good idea to just target them instead of targeting all these so i'll try to scale this i'll see if that like works better but it's not really going to be part of this video and then shopify is actually showing us seven sales so it mistracked three of them and we had 199.92 dollars in revenue and let's go straight into the profit loss analysis so as you guys can see we've been profitable so we actually made 27 dollars 56 cents which for the amount of revenue we made Made, it's not really that impressive but i'm pretty sure i could increase the price to like 29.99 in which case we would have made like at least 60 dollars this day so i'm gonna test increasing the price to 29.99 which is what the competitor was originally selling it for i just started selling it a little bit cheaper just in case and here we have the profit analysis and all the costs so i didn't have to like manually put this in it all automatically it'll calculates itself and i'll leave a link to all the apps and all the softwares i've used in the description if you guys want to use them yourself and that pretty much concludes this video if you guys have any questions for me you want to get in touch or maybe you want to join
join my mentorship dm me on instagram i'm gonna leave it on the screen it's just at ecom marco and that's gonna conclude this video if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video peace